Today, guys, we're going to be talking about the slam truck. You guys saw from the thumbnail, it doesn't work, and you also saw this is what we wanted. We're going over that today, and I'm going to show you guys how easy it would have been for Rockstar to actually make this slam truck work and make it into like a little mini DLC, but not really. Just a vehicle that actually has features that work, because if you're going to promote a vehicle that looks like this, that is literally like a tow truck version or like a flatbed type of truck, it should actually work. So let's get into it. Let's spawn in a car. We're going to spawn in an off-road vehicle because it usually works better with this since you can't drive normal vehicles onto the back of it. So let's spawn in this brawler here and let's take it and drive it onto the back of this slam truck. Now, if you guys have already purchased it, you know what happens. Or if you've watched some of my videos, you know exactly what happens with the slam truck. When you drive any of your vehicles onto it, they just fall off. And some people say, oh, you can use the hydraulics if you pop the front end down and the back end up, it won't fall off as often, but it'll still fall off. You could see we got it on and then I crash, but it looks like it's okay right now. But once you have the vehicle on the back, this slam truck tends to drift a little bit more because obviously it's a lot heavier, but then after you start driving, the vehicle will just fall off and then you gotta go pick it up again. And of course, you can't just back up straight into the vehicle because it won't get on that way. So you gotta get out of the car and just redo everything. And it really just sucks because there's no point in having this vehicle in the game if it won't even hold the vehicle on the back of the truck. So that's a huge disappointment. But now let's take a look at what they could have done. You see that car right there or that truck? That's a flatbed truck that I have modded into the game. And I also installed two scripts and those scripts will allow me to use features that we wanted on this slam truck and I'm going to show you guys how easy it would have been for Rockstar to do this. They literally could have taken the modders scripts that literally made this vehicle work and put it into online and it would have been perfect. Every single thing would have been perfect. So let's say we want to pick up this car right here. What we're going to do is going to put the flatbed on this truck onto the ground. Now, Obviously with the slam truck we wouldn't have to do that. We wouldn't move the flatbed. We would just attach the vehicle. So we move this just like this. And then once that is on the ground, you can see it's in position. You see that little circle on the vehicle? That's all we would want for the slam truck. We would get out, we would go and walk up to the vehicle and then click X to attach the vehicle onto the truck. And this is where it would have worked perfectly with the slam truck. You attach that little wench, that little hook to the back of the car and boom, it just drags the car right onto the back of the truck, which is what we all thought the slam truck would do since it has the exact same thing as this, a wench and a tow hook that would literally do this exactly, but it cannot do that. And then once you're done that, all you gotta do is just retract the flatbed and then boom, look at that. It is back on top of the truck and now we can go and drive around. And the best part is the car is locked. So no matter what, even if you flip this thing over, the car won't fall off, which is what should be in online. And now if we go and take a look at the slam truck, it's the exact same thing except it doesn't work. That's like putting a tow truck in GTA 5, but the tow hook won't actually hook onto any vehicles. You can see the slam truck, it's got the tow hook, it's got the wench, it's got the whole cable that could literally do the exact same thing that I just did, but it doesn't do it. And it would have been so simple for Rockstar to actually add this to the game. Like I said, they could have just taken the scripts from the modder and literally just put it in the game or just done it themselves, made it the exact same as the tow truck but just make a few little minor changes and it would have worked perfectly. And even if they didn't want to make it too crazy, the bare minimum they could have done is at least allowed us to put the vehicle on the back and then just lock it into place so then it wouldn't move around. And if you guys want to take the vehicle off, just like I'm about to show you, let's say for instance, there was a guy here that wanted his car, which is obviously on the back of this truck, to be towed over here. Well, I just bring it on over here and then I just put the flatbed down and then I just click X on PC, obviously, to unlock the vehicle. And then I can hop in the vehicle and drive it right off the back of this truck with no issues whatsoever. And it would have worked absolutely perfectly. And it's crazy because this is a mod and it feels better than online. Like a modder literally beat Rockstar Games. Like they actually beat Rockstar Games in creating something that people would enjoy more. And I'm just shocked. Like, I don't know why Rockstar wouldn't just make something like this. Like, so simple, so easy, and would have made everybody very, very happy. And I guarantee you, they probably would have gotten more sales on shark cards because then people would want to buy this truck. But since they did this, then people are now on YouTube saying, don't buy it, it's not worth it. Even I made a video saying, it's not worth it to buy because it doesn't work. But if it worked, I would say buy it, it's fun. You'll have fun for hours, weeks, or months driving that thing around. And I don't know why 
they couldn't just do that. And the best part about this mod that I'm using on PC, the modder literally thought of everything. So even if the vehicle doesn't get on the truck properly, you could see that it won't be able to get pulled on. It will get tugged underneath the vehicle. Well, they thought of everything. No matter what happens, as long as the vehicle is attached to that cable, it will be warped on top of it no matter what. You can see it's on the side. It's still getting pulled, but then once it's in position, it's in position and it's locked in place. So then there literally just won't be any bugs whatsoever and it would have worked perfectly. So now you guys know, they really could have done this and they could have done it really, really easily. They're a whole gaming company with tons of people helping them out and this one modder literally made this. I'm not sure how long it took them, but I bet Rockstar, if they did it, they could have done it a lot quicker, made it amazing and maybe added a couple more cool features, who knows? But I think this is exactly what everybody wanted the slam truck to do. And I'm not gonna lie, out of every single drip feed vehicle that is in this game or that was supposed to come out with this update, I was most hyped for the slam truck. I remember when I spawned it in on PC for the first time when it was still unreleased, I was like, okay, you know what? This tow hook feature doesn't work right now, but maybe when it's an online, it'll work. I really thought that. And I was pretty stupid for thinking that because it doesn't work. And I'm really curious what Rockstar says in the Newswire post about this vehicle. They're gonna say, introducing the new slam truck. You guys said you wanted a tow truck? Well, we're gonna troll you just a little bit more. You guys can have this slam truck, but the tow function won't work. And if you wanna drive your supercars or sports cars onto the back of this truck, don't worry, because you can't. Because we made the back just a little bit too high up so that not one car can actually drive on top of it. But the best part is you could drive off-road vehicles onto the back of it because we know that's what everybody wants to do. But don't worry, you won't be able to actually keep the vehicle on the back of it. It will fall off after you start driving for 15 seconds. And we also added hydraulics to it because obviously every tow truck needs hydraulics. Hope you enjoy the vehicle. Please give us $1.3 million of in-game cash, which is worth about $20 in real money. Thanks. Bye. That's exactly what they're going to say. I guarantee you it. But anyways, that's pretty much going to be it for the video. I just wanted to show you guys this. This is what we wanted. This is what we wanted Rockstar to add in GTA 5, a vehicle that works just like this, but we got the slam truck. I still think they could release a patch to make that work because they've done it before. They obviously nerf vehicles, buff vehicles, so they could probably add a cool, a couple cool features to the slam truck and make it work and make it really fun. Honestly, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.